the way it started. Oh, it's wet too. It's scary. It's really scary. We wanted to make our own Dio cylinders because the all you have is you have Taiwan stuff, which is pretty pretty bad. Always cut towards yourself. It's uh, St. Patrick's Day here, and he's very Irish, so he actually Drinking goes around heavily. dressed up as a leprechaun. Yep, I make all the decisions around here. Do you do you like Red Lobster? Can I take you on a date? They have those nice cheddar biscuits. Um, and again, this is all prototype stuff. That's the raw product. So it's, well, it's Nick is still plated already. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to really deal with machine work. I don't want people to have to machine their cylinders. I want something that people can just go. Really exciting moment. I mean, it's been like three or four years. Once it's done testing, then how long? Well, I'm dating you and your wife, sir. Hello, don't leave me. Safety. Okay. Safety first. So there's about seven thousand dollars in this box, and it's when I start this project. So today we're doing something we've never done before. We're gonna give away two bikes. First bike is the Prebug. Once we hit 40,000 subscribers, we're gonna give it away to one of you guys. Now bike number two is the Bug Eye. This bike has a bunch of aftermarket parts. How you win this bike is just as easy. You already shop at ScooterSwapShop.com. So every dollar you spend on the store is one point entered in to win. Three years ago, I think, four years ago, uh, working with Alfio um, in the Netherlands, who's awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, basically, we're designing our own Dio cylinder. The way it started, oh, it's wet too. It's scary, it's really scary. Looks good though. Uh, so the way this started, basically, oh dang, sweet sticker. No, you can't have it. Alpha, he's a man. Uh, he really knows his stuff. He's helped a lot on the 180, on my runner build. Just extremely talented, awesome contributor to, uh, um, what's going on here? Oh, uh, awesome contributor for, for the whole scooter community. Um, his notes got wet. He's got a little heart there. His little heart right there. Um, we love you, Alfio. We wanted to make our own Dio cylinders because the all you have is you have Taiwan stuff, which is pretty pretty bad. Um, you have Melosi has a cast iron kit. They have an MHR. Both good kits, just very lackluster. We have the Polini Contessa. We have the um, Polini Corsa. The Breezy doesn't make cylinders anymore. Um, I'm trying to think. That's pretty much it for the main Dio. So it's very very uh, limited and. The design in those cylinders is really old school. Two strokes have come a long ways when it comes to just how they're designed, the port layout and just everything. So we decided to go about making our new kit. What this consisted of was working with Alfio. Uh, I sent him a stock, sent him a Polini cylinder just to Sweden. And then he basically got some basic dimensions and everything and worked it over. And then him and one of his buddies designed the cylinder. After the cylinder was designed, we had to have it uh, casted, had to have a mold made. The cost to make two cylinders, this Alfie was doing this for free. He didn't do, didn't charge me because the dude just loves, just loves this. Um, always cut towards yourself also. The cost for these two cylinders to have them casted was about $5,000 to have two cylinders casted. It's a lot of work. So I say, why don't you make your own cylinders? Okay, five grand for prototypes. Then you get the prototype back. It's a it's a raw product, right? It's not nickel plated. It's not machine. It's not tap for studs. It's it's just a raw piece that comes out, right? So then you have to take it. You have to put it on the machine. You have to machine it all down. You have to make it true. You have to bore it out. You have to do everything to make it perfect. Then you have to have a Nicosil plated. You know, right now, uh, he's uh, it's uh, St. Patrick's Day here, and he's very Irish. So he actually drinking goes around heavily. dressed up as a leprechaun, drinking, uh, drinking and uh, looking for pots of gold. 
Hey, so who am I speaking oh, to? Uh, hot. this is this is the leprechaun's assistant. She sounds hot. Yeah, I know you. You sound nice today. What are you wearing? Oh, no, sir. Uh, my name is Amber Dixon. Ooh, Amber. We're calling from US Director. Mm. Yeah, we're calling okay. from US Director. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. So, mm. I like your voice. Are you authorized? Oh, I'm authorized. Are you authorized? Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, I make all the decisions around here. Mm -hmm. okay. so, uh, where is the owner? Uh, the owner, his name is uh, uh, Billy, the leprechaun. Okay. Uh huh. So, um, can I have your name and your my name's Paul. What's your name? Work your magic, bro. Come on, slide in there. Slide in there. Okay, what's your name? I'm, I'm Paul. I'll be whoever you want me to be. Paul, and your uh -huh. name? Uh, Roberts. Get her, Paul. Come on. Okay, Get her laugh. Okay. Mm hmm. Paul. Roberts. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so my name tell, is... tell me more about yourself. Hi, are you okay? Oh, I'm great now that I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, you still there? Okay. <clears throat> Tell me why you're yeah, here. Oh, okay. I thought it lost you for a second. Okay. Uh, okay, again, my name is Amber Dixon. Amber calling Dixon. Calling from US Directory. You're oh, yeah. And I'm calling you uh, regarding Just today's stop her. ads. Uh huh. You you're sounding quite nice today, Amber. Ask her if she wants to go on a date. You, Come on. Uh, do, you, do you like Red Lobster? Can I take you on a date? They have those nice cheddar biscuits. You there, Amber? Don't leave me. Oh, she did not. Yes, Okay, okay. Um, so it's a massive, massive, massive process. Um, and again, this is all prototype stuff. That's like a little heat sink there. Um, That's pretty sick. Yeah, so it's got. Um, so again, this is a Melosi head, and this is everything. This is all prototype stuff here. Really, really, really cool. I mean, Alpha makes the stuff himself. This is, this is really, really neat stuff. I obviously, I don't. We just have to make sure this works. Make sure it works. Make sure it runs. Then after that, if it works good, and runs good. Then we'll go into production. Production. Something like this, you really need to make two or three hundred at a time. And that's, you know, you're talking five digit investment on this and it could take a year. Then you have packaging and you have nicosyl plating and you have pistons and then O-rings and pack. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a long process. It's not like, oh, I'm just gonna make 300 cylinders real quick and have them for sale. Also, we wanna test everything. I'm not gonna make something and, and have it be a bad product. Uh, we have to test everything first. That's the head. Um, and again, this is not a final product, guys. We've kind of gone over everything that it is, everything that's involved with this. Um, this is gonna be an 82cc, so it's gonna work for stock stroke. The reason why we didn't do any stroker stuff, because there's not, never really been a consistently good stroker crank for Dio. Okay, this is not gonna require any machine work, and I base this around using the Melosi crank, because the Melosi crank is hands down the best crank um, for Dio. There are people out there saying Melosi cranks are made in China. They're all made in Italy. So there's, they're not made in China. Somebody's like, oh, they're made in China. No, they're not made in China, they're made in Italy. Probably have two cylinders. Maybe he's got the other one still. So Alfio, he must still have one of the cylinders because he wants a dyno test there um, as well. So this will basically probably take my Dio. We'll take the cases. The cases have to be all ported and everything too. Um, and then we will so it says that yes or no for uh, Red Lobster Friday night. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. What time should I pick you up? What time should I pick you up? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, dude, well, you just we're going on a date to Red Lobster on Friday, right? Okay, on Friday. On Friday. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's where I'm gonna pick you up. What, uh, where am I gonna pick you up, Amber? I'll sell the great Pacific Ocean to come pick you up from India. Okay, uh, I'm located in Florida. Florida, okay. Be there. Give her what part ad of Florida? Ask for your address. What's the address? I'm going 
going. Come on. Red Lobster. Uh, yeah, I'm located at Thank you. That's right. All right. Tell, tell you what, know, tell you uh -huh. to know yeah. more about yeah. yourself. Tell the, me about yourself. Yeah, tell me more about yourself. I see what she's wearing, what she looks like. Yeah, like, uh, like what are you wearing? What color is your hair and your eyes? What do you but smell? you have some nice eyes. What do you smell like? Okay, um, <laughs> what she smells I'm like. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'll oh. talk to your supervisor. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. Uh, can I talk, can I talk to Amber? Uh, we're, we're actually going on a date to Red Lobster on Friday night. And I, I just wanted to know where to pick her up. Uh, sir, it's a business call. No, just her number. Uh, what's her number? <laughs> Okay, can you give her back so I can get her number? And then we can uh, proceed with this business call. Uh, and uh, we she, can do the personal stuff later. Ask her what she smells like. Okay, sure. I'll and uh, can, you, can you take a, a whiff of her scent and tell me what she smells like? Uh, sir, that being uh, so, you know, it's still, it's just like you're trying to bring up something here. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, no. yeah, I'm I'm trying to bring Amber out to Red Lobster on Friday night. They have, they have those uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits. She's already married. She's married. I I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, buddy. I I really don't care that she's married. I'm going to give you to his husband so that you can see that it's family. Okay. I'm into that. Okay, I'm into that. Yeah. Uh, this is John. John? Hey John, are you Amber's husband? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I just wanted to uh, confirm the date for uh, Red Lobster on Friday night. And then the... Test it, port the case, and put it on. But yeah, that's uh, that's the raw product. So it's, well, it's Nick has still played it already. Oh, slick. That's really nice. So yeah, 2TR. That's our brand. This is 100% um, our product, our design. Uh, so you'll see more of this, um, more of this brand come through. But bridge exhaust, it's just beautiful. Alfio does awesome work. But why don't you just make cranks, Brandon, for strokers? <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to really deal with machine work. I don't want people to have to machine their cylinders. I want something that people can just go <laughs> bolt it on. I mean, you're gonna have to just you. When I say have to, you really should adjust your cases and put your cases to match the cylinder. Um, you're gonna definitely struggle a little bit if you just bolt it on and go, but the whole idea is to not have to do any machine work. And not, I don't wanna base, if I make 300 cylinders and there's a, a good stroker crank out, and then in a year, year and a half, that stroker crank is gone or they decide to make it China, then I'm stuck with 300 cylinders that I can't sell. Where Melosi makes such a good product and they've been making it for so many years, I can base, base our cylinder around that product so really exciting moment i mean it's been like three or four years since we started on this but i'm gonna take this uh home tonight mvs is here in portland uh from oklahoma so we're gonna look it over and, and finish it up and dial it in and yeah pretty pretty stoked so so i i can i can already hear the fingers typing so you just copied a melosi cylinder yeah no, this is 100% scratch, 100% made from scratch, designed from scratch. Alpheos thinking that this should make 20 horse. Um, to give you an example, a Polini Corsa is advertised, I think at 11 and a half or 12. You typically get about on a Corsa with all the fixings, just bolt on, no crazy port work. I think you get about eight and a half to 10 and a half is about what you get. So if we can get 15 or 16, out of this wheel horse, that's just whole next level compared to Polini Melosi. Um, if we can get 15 or 16, you're talking, that's what like a 110, 120 cc stroker makes, about 15, 16 wheel horse. We did one in Vegas that made like, remember that one? It made like 13, 12, 13 wheel horse or something like that. Just because you have large cc doesn't really mean a whole lot because there's the Taiwan cylinders are such a bad design that you have to do so much work to make power and oftentimes people don't have that knowledge to be able to, to work them over. Um, so this should make 
the same or more power than like a 110 to 120 cc and be more reliable and you're not going to have overheating issues you're not going to deal with the taiwan or chinese crank you don't have to do any machine work um so pretty pretty stoked yeah got got a ways to go this is just the beginning of it but at least it's here and see next question i can see is okay so once it's done testing then how long i probably have a solid 16 hours worth of work to do with uh the cases supporting the cases, assembling them my deal here, porting the cases, putting it all back together, dyno testing it. Imagine that'll probably take two weeks. I mean, we're slammed, but it probably take two weeks for me to even say, yes, this product works, maybe even longer. <laughs> yes, this product works. Um, at that point, then what I have to do is take the design and go contact a bunch of casting places that'll cast cylinders and get quotes to do two or 300 at a time. My projection on this cylinder, just a rough projection, it would probably be about a year. I imagine, you know, it's probably gonna take a month or two just to get quotes on casting. Then once you get quotes, you have to get in line to get that casting made. Um, and then if they're making 300, I'm guessing they're gonna be out, I have no idea. I'm guessing probably mm -hmm. two months, probably to mm -hmm. make 300. Then you have the 300 done and they're all palletized. You have to take those 300, you have to have them shipped to, uh, we're probably gonna use um, Millennium plating because they're the best and they have a lifetime warranty. Uh, so they're gonna, then they have to go palletize, go to Millennium. Millennium's probably gonna be 300. They're probably gonna be a month, month and a half there to get plated. Then they all come back to us and then they have to get machined. Actually, they cast it, cast it, then they go to get machined and then they go to get plated. Get plated and then they come back to us and then we have to physically package every single cylinder. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, a year would probably be. It's Tuesday, March 16th. So 2022. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a year and no one, you can't buy this because like I said, I have just this box right here. There's about $3,000 into this box. And Altheo has the other one because he's gonna do some testing on his end too. Um, so yeah, it's people ask, why don't you make this? Why don't you make that? This is gonna be said and done. This will probably be a depending on how many we have made, whether we have 200, 300, 400, whatever, it's just probably gonna be a $50,000 investment. It's gonna take a year to do one cylinder. My guesstimation on a price is it's probably gonna be around, um, my guess, I'd like to shoot for right around 300 bucks, which is pretty reasonable because of course it's like 250, 279, somewhere around there. How much is it for a stroker setup? Because that's pretty much what you wanna kind of compare yourself to because if it's gonna well, get stroker closer setup, stroker power. Stroker is gonna be, um, well, so this with the Melosi crank, it's gonna be about 550 bucks for this with the Melosi crank and it will run forever. And it's, again, you're talking Italian. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna have an Italian piston and Italian rings. The plating is gonna be the best plating in the United States that I know of. Um, everything's gonna be top shelf. And so yeah, you're 550, about 550. Stroker setup, you're getting a Chinese or Taiwan, Taiwan um, cylinder, Chinese or Taiwan crank. You're about, for those two, depending on if you get the $89 stroker crank or you get the $200 one, you're probably, I don't know, three to, three to $600, depending on well, if you get plus the, the a Chinese pump, stuff. Plus a radio. Well, they're doing air-cooled stroker stuff. Air-cooled stroker stuff, um, you really struggle to fit fan shrouds on them. They oftentimes, they overheat. They always have heat issues um, and you have to do machine work. And once you cut your cases out, uh, once you cut your cases out, once you cut your cases out, you can't go back. And I've seen, so with the strokers, you actually have to cut, you've got your bolts that hold your cases together. You actually have to cut into the threads. So oftentimes you'll have air leaks through the thread holes for your bolts in your cases because you have to cut into the actual thread. So when you pull it apart and you look, the, the machine work cuts into the actual threads where your crank goes. So you, you widen the skirt out on your, on your cases, which is where the cylinder drops into. You widen that out and then you split it and you cut out this side, the inside where the crank is, the, the, the rotating assembly, and you have the bolt holes in there that hold the cases together. You have to cut like 30%, 20% of those threads out. So when you're threading your bolts in, the, your bolts are literally only threading in, you know, the, you know, you've got a round hole for your bolts to go through. It's like this much of it, your bolts going through because that part's been cut out. Um, so it's ghetto and it doesn't it typically don't last very long. Um, heat issues as well. So this is a cylinder that in theory you should be able to get, you know, it's gonna be a single ring. Um, single ring is gonna be more power, it's not gonna last as long. Um, but 
the plating can be so good on it that you should just be able to swap in a new ring and run it. But this is something that cylinders itself, um, you should be able to get 10,000 miles out of probably something like that. And then at that point, you literally just take it, you send it out to um, Millennium, have it plated for like 150 bucks. And then you run it and get another 10,000 miles out of it. So. And we'll have replacement cylinder, or not cylinders, pistons, but replacement rings, pistons yeah. available once it's all said and done. Yeah, what's cool about this is everything, like this is our brand. It's just really neat. Nobody's made, nobody in the United States, nobody in Canada, um, nobody that I know of, no other companies have actually made a cylinder their own deal. Oftentimes what they do is say, oh, this is our brand, this is our product, and they'll buy it from China or Taiwan, and they'll put their label on it and sell it. That's totally common, which is fine, but it's not really your product, right? But this is our product. Like, I don't know how many hours Alfie and I have, Alfio and I have um, working on this, but it's been a long time. Pretty stoked, glad it all showed up. It's not smashed. Um, get some gaskets coming. Joe and I will rework the um, hand finish out that cylinder. Well, hand machine cylinder. Uh, yeah, so we'll go. We'll, we'll fix it all up and, and dial it all in. So pretty cool. Sweet. It's a big deal. It's a big, big, big deal. Leave a comment below. Let us know if you want one. There's no waiting list. <laughs> <laughs> no waiting list. Just a bench. Uh, yeah, I'm dating. Well, I'm dating you and your wife, sir. Are you not? Are you a coconut? A coconut? I'm not a coconut. <laughs> You're trying to date my wife. No, I'm dating your wife. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry to say, sir, but uh, it's not good to do business with you. Okay. No, we're we're doing business. Hold on. Dirty business. Okay, I'll hold on. <laughs> no, uh, what happened, sir? What happened? What happened? Uh, I'm taking yeah. Amber out on to Red Lobster on Friday night. Sorry, you're like, well, what did you say? I'm taking Amber out. Sorry. Hold on, hold on. I can't Hello? Hello? Who's this? Amber, you still there? Oh my god. Hello? Don't leave me! <laughs> that was the fucking... Come on, Paul, give me a high five. That was the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, God.